I currently have two jobs, but I'm thinking of dropping one to focus on my master's in information technology management. Since my first degree is not IT related, I already have a CISSP, a CCSP, and a CISA. Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, to drop one of the jobs and then focus on a master's degree. I can answer this question. Um, Tony, this is just my two cents. So, you know, I'm just going to give you my take on it. And it may not be right, but it's just my opinion about it. In my experience in IT information technology, so, you know, now to take it for what it's worth, I, you know, I have a very narrow path of experience with this. But I've been doing this since the year 2000, crazily enough. Wow, that's I'm freaking old. But uh, my, my the path that I've taken is mostly I do risk management framework, information system security officer work. But I have done a little bit of cybersecurity analyst work, and I have been a cybersecurity engin engineer working on uh, seams, putting together seams and, and stuff like that. And lately I've been doing risk assessments for different companies and that's been fun so that's my experience I have a bachelor's degree um, I have a bachelor's degree and I'm an associate's degree and I have a CISSP I've been able to make really good money now the reason why I personally have not done a master's degree because I do not want to be a manager um, I don't I don't have no desire to be a director or a manager or anything like that for a company and from what I've seen when you want to get a master's degree, when it's worth it, is when you want to go to a management type position. Because most of the jobs out there are looking for management, people with a master's degree for management type positions. Now that's just that's just my two cents, and that's what I've from what I've seen. So once you once you become a a manager you're looking at significant jump in pay. At my level, not being a manager type person, I'm kind of, I'm not capped. I mean, I, I do get raises and stuff. I can go to another job, make more money and stuff. But the next big jump for me, like if I wanted to make a $20,000 a year, like a significant jump, I'm, I know that I need to do a manager type role. I do not want to do it. Um, I kind of did it in the military. I did not like it. Um, that's just me. So if I would say, in my personal opinion, Tony, if you are planning to be a manager, if you're a, you know, you're a worker, uh, you know, mid-tier work, whatever, senior level person, but you're not a manager, and you're trying to go to the manager level and to make more money, yeah, it would be worth dropping what you're doing, one of the jobs or whatever, and then going for the master's degree. But you did say another thing that interests me. You said, I do not have a degree in IT. So if you already have a CISSP, how are you? Just my, just my two cents. I'm not saying that a master's degree is not valuable. I, I definitely value a, a master's degree. But what I would do if I, if it's a personal pursuit, man, yeah, go ahead and do it. But if you're trying to make money, if you're trying to make moves, I would just go for a bachelor's degree in IT. That will give you, that should give you a little bit of a bump in pay. Um, if you're trying, if your strategy, you should have a strategy, by the way. Have a, have a like a five-year goal for your career. And that, you know, whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to be a director or a manager, yeah, you're going to have to go for a master's degree. Like that, that's your next step. If you're just trying to get paid, you don't necessarily have to have a master's degree, master's degree. Um, you pop, just go ahead and get a, a bachelor's degree in IT, information technology, or a bachelor's degree in information se security, or a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, bachelor's degree in some kind of technical field. Master's degree only if you're doing manage management work in this field. That's just my two cents. Because that's the only way it's going to be worth your time. I'm just, I'm just being perfectly honest with you. I knew, let me just give you some perspective. So there was a dude on our team. This has happened to me several times. There's a dude on our team who had a bachelor's, a master's degree. He came on our team. 
I had a, a bachelor's degree, CISSP, and a couple other certifications, right? And I'd been work, I'd been doing this work at the time for like I don't know, sixteen years or something. Younger guy comes on. He's been doing this for about f- f- probably four years, three four years. He he's working on the CISSP, fails it. But he did have a security plus, and he he had recently got a master's degree. He passes. He got a master. He got a degree, master's degree. So they ended up. We're we're on the same team, same level, and everything. Um, the master's degree didn't really buy him anything. You know what I mean? It didn't give him any extra juice. He could have got, you know, I know it sounds messed up, but he could have just got a CISSP and that would have put him, it would have gave him the same kind of bump, maybe even better. But, but he is prepped. He's, he's on his way to becoming a manager because he has that master's degree. That master's degree seems to be the way to get your foot in the door for management type positions. So longer term, if, if his plan is to become a manager, he's, you know, he's one step above me already with that master's degree. If he's planning on plan- staying as a worker, the master's degree didn't really buy him that much. You know, just my two cents about it. If I were you, I would, I'd get a bachelor's degree in information that's kind of technical, knowing what I know now. I'd get a bachelor's degree, and then if you're going to quit that other job, it would be worth your time to get the bachelor's degree. And then get that done. Get either more pay with the bachelor's degree with some other position, or get the pick up the other job and, c- and continue to make if you if you can if you have the stamina to do it, and then continue to to uh, excel from there. That's what I would do.